the new moon, timekeeper of the creator's calendar. The calendar, one of the most vital aspects of our lives, silently guiding our days, weeks, years, reminding us of appointments and of special events. But have you ever stopped to wonder about the calendar that governs your life? How did we land on the Roman Gregorian calendar that guides the entire world today? To answer that, we need to step back in time and revisit the origins of timekeeping established by the creator, Yahuwah, in the earliest moments of time. Scripture tells us in Bereshit, Genesis, that Yahuwah created two great lights, the sun to rule the day and the moon to rule the night. These celestial bodies were meant to guide us through days, years, and crucially, the appointed times of Yahuwah. No human can manipulate the sun or the moon, thus no human can manipulate Yahuwah's calendar. And yet Hashatan, or Satan, through the beast's power, has attempted to change times and laws, leading to the adoption of the Gregorian calendar that the entire world now follows. But the Creator's calendar remains. All we have to do is look to nature. It's a simple method based on the moon and the sun, a lunar solar time keeper. The first day of each month, or new moon day, starts a new month. This is how our ancestors kept track of time. Looking to the skies, they could see when the new moon, and thus the new month, was about to begin. Conjunction is key here. Conjunction is when the sun and the moon are perfectly aligned, leaving the moon in complete darkness. This moonless sky marks the last day of the month and the next dawn signals new moon day, starting a new month. Unfortunately, Hashatan, Satan, has distorted this divine timekeeping system with the pagan Gregorian calendar, a continuously cycling seven day week with no ties to nature. This deception has led billions of people away from Yahuwah's intent. But the calendar of the Creator is here to reconnect us with Yahuwah and his creation. Each new moon day forces us to pause, reflect, and give thanks to Yahuwah, the creator of all. The calendar, a non-continuous and tied to nature system, encourages our focus on him. By paying attention to when the new moon happens, it makes us have to acknowledge Yahuwah as the creator. Understanding the structure of this divine calendar is simple. Months are either 29 or 30 days long, determined by the darkness of the moon or lunar conjunction. Four complete weeks follow each new moon day, with the Shabbat, Sabbath, always falling on the 8th, 15th, 22nd, and 29th of the lunar solar months on the real calendar of the Creator. The beauty of Yahuwah's calendar is in its alignment with natural cycles. Aligning our lives with Yahuwah's calendar allows us to flow with the rhythm of the universe itself. It guides us in a harmonious journey, unified with the cycles of the sun and the moon, the eternal timekeepers. Each spring equinox holds a special significance, marking a pivotal point in this celestial dance. This event sets the stage for the new year with the appearance of the new moon that happens closest to the spring equinox, ensuring a perfect balance in the grand ballet of time. The beauty of this system is its simplicity. Pay attention to the moon, to the cycles of darkness and light, and you will never lose track of Yahuwah's time. With practice, you will become proficient in recognizing the true calendar of the Creator. So, we invite you to join us in observing the real calendar based on the new moon and on the sun, just as Yahuwah intended. Let's reclaim the truth of time, one lunar month, new moon at a time.